Talk to me, Goose. I, I really had never thought much about it, honestly. And uh, playing as part of the All-Army Golf Team, uh, one of my playing partners during the Armed Forces Championship in 2019, he was a Marine. My plan was to go and do the PGA Golf Management Program, and he mentioned to me that while you do that program, they'll let you play college golf. And I kind of laughed it off, and I was like, ah, yeah, but I'm going to be like 40 years old, man. There's no way. And so I looked into it a little bit and, uh, and found out that I did have eligibility, uh, you know, since my clock had stopped while I was in the military. And I talked to some folks at the NCAA, got in touch with the right folks, and they got me in touch with some coaches. And, and now here we are playing college golf at 40 years old. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jonathan Chesky. Welcome to Stephen F. Austin State University, Axum Jacks. I showed up to Fort Benning, Georgia a week before 9-11 happened. Um, and I can tell you, you know, your, your view on the world, your, your reasons for enlisting, a, a lot of that stuff changed that day. In a week's time, that turned into get ready to go deploy and, and like, you know, your country is gonna need you to go and do some things. I was an instructor for a while, worked as a combat advisor for a while, but I had a lot of really good experiences, uh, you know, in the, the multiple organizations and units that I worked with. Got to see some, some combat and, and got some time to come home and be, a, be an instructor and kind of recharge the battery. So it was, a, it was a really good balance over that 20 years. Let's go! <laughs> I played while I was in high school, didn't didn't play any organized, like didn't play junior tournaments, didn't play on the golf team. Honestly, just really did it for, it was a way for me and my dad to connect. Like we, we just enjoyed being on the golf course together. And then later on through the, you know, throughout my time in the military, I kind of picked the game up again and really felt like I started wanting to be competitive through the All Army Golf Program. It was nearly impossible to play during deployments. But while we were in Afghanistan, there were, there were a couple of different organizations that would send you know, old golf clubs or send boxes of balls and stuff like that. And so at a couple of the places we were at, we would, we would hit those golf balls like outside the wire is what we called it. And then when we would go out on patrols, we would take like a, a pouch that we have on our side and we'd kind of collect those balls back up, the ones that the kids hadn't picked up or whatever. <laughs> See, the, the young kids don't make that noise when they bend over. Competing with these young guys is tough when you're 40 and you wake up in the mornings and some days I roll out of bed, some days I crawl out of bed, you know, bad back and bad knees and a couple of shoulder surgeries. And, and so there are days when I, I wake up and I'm like, man, why are you putting yourself through this? Uh, as far as the guys on the team, man, they were, you know, from the day I signed to come here, they were all great. Like we had, they all started texting and communicating with me. So the response in the classroom is a little different. Um, uh, not a whole lot of those kids know what to do with a 40 year old guy that comes in and sits down. I think, you know, that first week of class, I think most of them think I'm the professor walking in. I tell people this all the time, it takes a special woman to let her husband run off to a college campus all by himself for four years and, and, and do this. But she's, uh, she's my biggest fan, biggest supporter, her and the kids since day one. They've, uh, they've been behind me through this whole experience, this whole journey. I would never want to hold him back from anything he wants to do. And I know he wouldn't for me as well. So yeah, we have lots of good plans for, you know, when the kids get out of the house and we get to go and do whatever we want. I was like, heck yeah, you go do that. I get to travel. You know, she's an army veteran too. It's not possible for me to be here doing this and, and, and being away from them without her support. There's the same kind of mentality wow, you should do that, Dad. We FaceTime, I send them videos of like all their sporting events and, and everything that's going on. So they don't really feel like they are missing out on dad time. She would also probably tell you that things run a little bit smoother when I'm not there, because uh, dad introduces chaos with the kids all the time. It would be different to have them here all the time. I think that would throw them for a loop. <laughs> I talk all the time about embracing old man golf, oh, that and uh, that's what we call it. And he calls it the dink and dunk. And so I just just try to keep it in play, hit lots of fairways, hit lots of greens, and, and let the young guys make mistakes and and just kind of hang in there with them. And that's that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, so right now I'm working towards a degree in sports business. Um, and, and like I said, the plan is to get into coaching, hopefully. I like being around the age group of, of people that I'm around, 18 to 22. Like that's kind of the age group I was with 
guys that I trained in the Army, and, and I like finding ways where I can give back to young people and, and try to help set them up to, to be successful in life. I felt like he could come in and change the culture, or just help the culture, uh, be a little bit better, be more disciplined, be a little bit more hardworking, and we have been struggling, so I needed somebody to come in here and give that spark, and, and uh, so far he's done it. So this five-footer win the conference championship for your team. All right, That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you, you've known pressure. This is not pressure. You know, one of the things that me and a lot of my old Army buddies talk about is, like, the message that I want to get across doing this, and that is if you're a veteran, you know, when you get to the end of your time in the Army or the Marines or whatever, um, it's, it's not the end of your life, man. There's so much more you can go do. And I try to remind them if, if I can play Division One golf at 40 years old, like, the, the options really are limitless.